the, the yellow planet boss, or even even the one on the, on the even the one with the uh, the missiles and the rising water. I think that boss is more difficult than this one in terms of diff you know in terms of being able to actually hit me. Come on, just die already. How many hits does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Come on. There we go. Another level complete, and now we're gonna rack up our score and head to the final level of the game, the escape level. Where, of course, if you can imagine, you're finally escaping from the Toad Mothership. Which then the game for the final level becomes a scrolling shooter. Hurry up, let's bust out of here, troops! This thing's about to blow! We're out of here, Captain! Okay, there's the password, and it surrounds the final area. The escape, with an exclamation point. Here we go, we jump on our Scooty Puff Jr., and off we go. Now, there's frogs I just killed. You're gonna see something funny about them. They jump on. They try to jump at you for dear life. Trying to, as a last ditch effort to drag you down into the spiky pit. Their last thing in life, their last hope of stopping you is to just send a ton of regular frogs. They're probably not even soldiers, just like innocent frogs that just jump at you uncontrollably trying to grab a hole. If they don't grab you, they're, they, they have no problem killing themselves in order to try to get you down. And then of course you just slam them into spikes all over the floors in order to take them out. I just find that humorous. There's a good amount of health laced throughout the entire level so you can grab tons of health power up in order to be able to make sure that you have plenty of health going into the like there's like three boss battles in this in this level alone one of them really is just an easy mini boss the other two are actually kind of like boss battles for this area i highly uh, i highly recommend using deadeye because the three shots gets really quickly through these glass containers so you don't get squashed once you know there's not too many of them. This is actually probably the easiest le part of the entire level is these flash things, especially if you use Deadeye. Or you can use Bucky or any other character just, you know, holding the turbo button or match the button really, really quickly. Now we're, like, speeding up a little bit. But, of course, following the arrows is very useful and helps you figure out where exactly to go so you don't get squashed. So the game, of course, helps you out here. The mothership helps you escape by giving you signs and pointing you in the correct directions. Which I find funny. Okay, and now we have to fight the first of like the three little mini bosses. Get a health bonus. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use Willy for this area. First head down and blast this thing. Every time you, you see it flash like the pink color, you know you gotta hit on it. You need to take out both of these in order to free that frog robot head in the middle, and then you can take the frog robot head out, and then that's how you defeat this boss. Really, or not even, like I said, mini boss, because it's really, really easy. It's not even worthy of a title boss. And now he spins uncontrollably as he's only hooked on by one half of his, of his chain now, so it looks hilarious as he, like, spazzes out going in a complete circle over and over again. Come on. Almost done in this part. Once it, you destroy this part, you're gonna see his head will start spinning uncontrollably around the room. And then you just hit him and take him out. Pretty easy to be able to dodge all the shots, and I mean, you won't get hit that often because it just fires pretty slowly and the bullets don't move too fast. So it's pretty easy to get through this whole little battle. Come on. Do -do -do. Not too much more. Come on, die, you stupid freaking flying robot head. There we go. Now that you've defeated him, the first of the three little mini, the first of the three bosses of the area, you get some power-ups, including a full life. There you go. And now you gotta fight a giant ship inside of a giant ship. Yeah. 
makes sense. It, I, they can fit this. They have this giant ship inside of this other giant ship. Just shows you how massive a Toad Mothership really is. Okay, here's fun. For the first part of this battle, the, they just send out the suicidal Toad Frogs that just keep killing themselves relentlessly. They just don't stop. I mean, how many? F I hope it's like. Then use Blinky in order to take out each of these individual four guns. You have to take out all four of them. Which they take a decent amount of hits to take out. Um, but use Blinky in order to take them out. It may not even look like you're hitting them sometimes. I'm not even sure if I was hitting them there at those parts because they weren't flashing. But I keep firing anyway. And now in this area, you want to fire at the main... Uh, the main uh, thruster using the... Uh, using Willy shot. You can probably you can use Bucky's I think as well, but for whatever reason I usually choose to use Willy's. When it starts to move backwards, move down, and then use Deadeye, and you can shoot upwards in order to take out some of these guns. There's one down. There's two down. And now you as you get to the end here it'll scroll down. I can just kinda of sit here and wait. And of course, guess what's going to happen again? It's time for for more suicidal frogs. And I'm going to try to take out this gun with Blinky. At least one of them can't hit the other one. There we go. And now the ship will start scrolling again at any moment. There we go. And now we can take out the other gun, the last gun. There we go. And now all we got to take out is the main the main boost, the main thruster at the end, the main engine or whatever. Which is actually the hardest part, because it takes the most amount of shots in order to take it out. I'm probably, I won't be able to take it out in this try. I'll have to go all the way around the ship, have to see the whole ship again, in order to, to be able to finish it off, which can be really annoying. See, I wasn't able to take it out, so now, even though it has pretty much no weapons left, no attacks left, I have to move through the whole thing in order to get back to the end of it, in order to take it out. Now it's going to move over, fire some random shots, even though there's no chance of them hitting me. Move down. Coming back over, now all the course suicidal frogs again. They're done. Now we're going to scroll over so I can get back to that back booster. On, slowly moving over. Can't really do anything against it. Lock in place like always. Scroll down. There we go. Now I can get behind it again. Watch out for its random shots in a lock. And now we can take it out, hopefully. Please, I beg you. There we go. See, there's only a few more shots left on it anyway. And then it slowly fades into nothingness. I don't know where it goes. <laughs> it just kind of disappears completely. And now we get, of course, all our great boosts again. We get all them again. And now it's time for the final, final showdown. The battle against the Air Marshal. Which, you use Bucky because he fires forward and backwards. Of course, if the fire hits you, you're instantly dead. But the good thing is it doesn't continue. It just stops and locks in place like it just did. In order for us just to dodge around it and be able to take it out. Um, this part of the battle is pretty easy. If you didn't get an extra full boost of health before, after that tank, that giant mothership, then this would be pretty difficult, but because of that, it makes this part of the, the, the final, final battle of the game really simple, which I think is just kind of an afterthought, because like his, he's already lost his giant ship. His last ditch effort is to fight you himself, because he just has nothing left, so he gets in his puny little ship to finally try to take you out. But our Scooty Puff Jr., of course, is much more powerful than any Toad ship. Come on. Not, like I said, this is pretty easy to dodge. This isn't even anything... This isn't anything new, exciting, there's nothing really to tell you. Just move around, you can see all the shots as they come at you, so they're not really difficult to move around them. It takes a good chunk of shots to kill him. I didn't even think it'd take this many shots to kill him. God damn, come on, die, die. 
Yeah, that 